Hi, this is Rob Hanley with the Durham Duplicate Bridge Club on Tuesday, February the 6th for the 499er game. We have two hands for you today. The first one is number six. As you can see, I have a balanced 15 count. That's pretty straightforward, one no trump opening. Stamen from partner. I don't have a four card major, so two diamonds. And partners jump to three hearts. So this shows five hearts with four spades. Otherwise, they would have just transferred to hearts in the first place. And I don't have three hearts, and I don't have four spades still, so three no trump is where we're going to end up. Nice friendly lead. This is looking pretty good. Partner's got some extra values for me. Yeah, the eight of diamonds held the trick. Well, that's good news for me. Uh, now I need to get back to my hand so I can continue those diamonds to secure the contract. I'm actually going to start with a small part. Uh, it's interesting back of hearts. Doesn't change much. I'm just going to continue with my diamonds. This spade here. And back comes a diamond. At this point, it looks as though the rest of the tricks are mine. I have two good spades. The ace, king, and ten of hearts are winners, and I have the ace, king, queen of clubs three times, opposite three times, and the queen of diamonds is also good. So lots of winners at this point. And they're all good. Just claiming that. So uh, it, it's a it's a good demonstration hand for what to do with four or five in the majors. Uh, bid your stamen. If partner has a major, you found your fit. If they don't have a major, then you can jump in your five card major to promise a game forcing hand with five four in the majors. Kind of a strange play by the robot not to cover the eight of diamonds with the nine. Uh, and also to pop up with the jack of hearts. But what can you say? It's the robots. All right, we're going to pause while we change directions for the second hand. All right, we're back, this time with hand number nine. So uh, I have an interesting hand, 19 high card points, 4144 four, four distribution. Uh, these kind of hands can be somewhat difficult uh, because you don't have a long suit. So let's see where it takes us. I'm going to start by opening one diamond. Go on. Uh, I'm sorry, after the opponent's bid. <laughs> there you go. Partner bid a heart. So I have uh, the values and the distribution to bid two spades. This is a reverse. It promises 18 to 21 high card points with four diamonds and four spades. And usually I'll have more than four diamonds, uh, but I definitely have an unbalanced hand. Three clubs from partner is fourth suit forcing to game. Uh, it's artificial. They may or may not have clubs. They're asking me to further describe my hand. And I'm just going to bid three no here because I do have clubs stopped, which is one of the benefits of playing fourth suit forcing to game. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want to raise to four clubs because that to show four clubs because that would push us beyond uh, three no trump, which might be where my partner's trying to get. And partners pulled to four diamonds. So one of the unwritten rules is that you never pull three no trump to four of a minor unless you're mildly slamish or better for that minor. So in this case, my partner's four, four diamonds is saying that they're looking for slam in diamonds, uh, which is kind of interesting when you consider that I have all four aces and the king of diamonds. So I have to communicate to my partner now whether or not I also would be interested in going to slam. It is conceivable I could have 18 or even 19 points that had a lot of queens and jacks. And if that was the case, I am definitely not interested in slam, and I would bid four no trump. It's not asking for uh, key cards or aces or anything. It would just be saying, I want out. Let's play four no trump. So to tell my partner that I am interested and holding five key cards, I'm interested, I'm going to bid four hearts. Now, this is my partner for, partner's first bid suit. So 
I really shouldn't be doing this if I have a void uh, in hearts. Uh, it really should be the ace. I don't want to mislead my partner and think I have support for them if I have a void. So now for, for no trump for my partner. This is a Roman key card. Uh, we play 0, 3, 1, 4 responses for the miners. Uh, and in this case, I have five key cards. Uh, now you don't see very often where somebody's asking for key cards when they don't have any. Uh, so this, <laughs> this doesn't come up very often. But believe it or not, there is a bid for this, and it's five hearts. Five hearts, we all know, shows two key cards without the queen, but it's actually two or five key cards without the queen. And similarly, five spades would be two or five key cards with the queen. So five hearts it is. And partners placed us in six diamonds. Jack of clubs lead. All right, so let's see where we are here. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a challenging hand. And when I have a challenging hand, especially in a slam, I fall back on using the master hand principle. It, it just helps me organize my thoughts and plan out how I'm going to play it. So we're going to concentrate on the north hand at the top of the screen. And my hand sitting south is really just there to back up the north hand and help account for losers that are in the north hand. So clearly we have no apparent losers in diamonds. Uh, in spades, north has two losers, but I have the ace, so that means we're down to one. North has four hearts, and I have the ace, so there are actually two losers in the north hand in hearts. That makes one spade and two losers, that's three. And with my ace of clubs, there are no club losers from the north hand perspective. So I'm going to play this hand with the intention of trying to rough out those two losing hearts. I can't get rid of everything, so uh, it looks like I'm going to have to lose a spade here, but that's okay. I'll be making the contract, and I suspect on this hand, making the contract will probably get me a top. Since I need to get back and forth between the two hands in order to rough those hearts, I have to keep the king of clubs in the north hand and instead let this ride around to the ace, which seems counterproductive. Also, I need to be aware of the trump. I can't draw two rounds of trump first because if the trump don't split well, at some point I'm going to have to lose a spade. And if the opponents got in with the king and then played another trump, I actually wouldn't be able to rough two hearts. So let's let this ride and see how this plays out. I'm going to take the ace. I'm going to unblock my ace of hearts. Now, before I do anything crazy here, I'm actually going to just give the opponents their trick. I'm going to play ace of spades and out of spades. Now, I haven't played any diamonds at this point, so there's no danger that they'll draw all my trump. Queen of hearts comes back. There's no problem there. Uh, a common technique when you're going to rough losers in a suit is actually not to take your winners, but instead to just follow along with your plan and rough a heart. So I get to rough it with the seven of diamonds, a nice small one. There's no problem there. And I still have lots of entries to get back to the dummy. So I'm going to, at this point, because there's no danger of them drawing three rounds of Trump on me, I'm going to start playing on some diamonds. If the diamonds are two, two, I have no problems. So now I cash the king. And it turns out that East had only one diamond. So the Jack of Diamonds is in the West hand. Nothing I can do about that. I still need to follow through with my plan. Play a club to the king and rough a heart. Now, of course, if West is out of hearts, I'm going down. I don't make everything I bid. <laughs> what can I say? So I'm going to rough that with the 10 of Diamonds. And I made it. Uh, now, since West is the only Trump outstanding with the Jack, it doesn't matter what I play here. I'm going to rough it. And even if he played a trump, I would just over rough. And now I'm going to draw the last trump from the opponent sitting west. There goes the jack. And now the rest of the north hand is good. There you go. Making six diamonds. It's actually a really interesting hand. Uh, and... Uh, if you bid six times, you managed to make it. Well done. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks.